Alright, difference between uh, do the opposite and stretching. So my concept of do the opposite is different because stretching, for my, my mind, when you're stretching, all you do is uh, this or this, you know, five seconds, and then time, time, okay? You stretch for mm, one minute, but the concept is one minute and then you contract these muscles for eight hours. So the difference is way too much. That's time limitation. Two, limited range of motion. So when you're, when you're, uh, what you call it? When you're normally, when you're slouched like this, your normal range of motion is not, is like this, this, right? But you want to get into neutral, it's like already extreme. And to go to the other, to the old, all the other way extreme, to the other, to the right, to the, to the other extreme is, you, you can't even do it. So, so just to get to neutral is already extreme enough. So, um, alignment, alignment. So when you're like this, you are, when you're, when you're contracted like this and like this all day, your alignment is already thrown off. So you think this is neutral and you're, you're working out in a different angle already. So it's like, um, altered state, uh, uh, alternate, alternate plane. And, uh, let's see, for example, okay. So let's just pretend you're sitting all day at a computer all day like this and you go for a walk, right? You don't, go to neutral and go for a walk. You start at this position, altered plane, and you walk. So what happens is your, this, this, uh, what do you call it? Your hip flexors and your, everything is like this. You don't go to neutral and start activating these <clears throat> muscles and walk in a balanced way. You walked at an altered plane of, of, of um, dysfunction. <coughs> so that's the, our concept of um, do the opposite is different from um, stretching.